Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about one of the topics that seems to be no longer discussed in the K-12 curriculum or in the educational system and that is gerund. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to explain it in the easiest way that you can uh, understand it. Okay, let's start. So what is a gerund? Gerund is as simple as a word, okay? A word that belongs to the verbals, that is in the form of a verb. That's why it's called verbal. It's in the form of a verb. It appears like a verb but functions as a noun. So how is it? Okay, so you have this word saying, okay? You have this word saying, generally it appears as a verb, right? So when you see it, okay, that is a verb. It appears as a verb. Now, how does it become a gerund? Okay, so a gerund is a verbal, just like what we have mentioned, a word that a functions that functions as a noun. And usually it's in the ing form of the verb, meaning it has the ing form of the verb. It always has ing at the end. All right, so for here, you have the word singing. Okay, so this is what we have to remember, gerund is a word or one of the verbals that appears as a verb and functions as a noun. That's why you have the words singing, reading, um, flying, okay? So say for instance, we have this sentence, my friend loves singing, okay? So where is the gerund here? It's easy to identify, right? We have the word singing. Okay, let's explain it further. Maybe for some, it's not yet clear because again, it seems like a verb. All right, so let's, okay, let's try to explain it further. Let's compare. Okay, so we have those sentence here, my friend is singing. So in this um, sentence here, we are using the word saying, okay? Now, my friend is singing. What does the friend do? She or he is singing, right? So in here, the word sing is used as, uh, or singing is used as a verb. It appears as a verb. It functions as a verb. And so with the second sentence, sings. What does the friend do? She sings. She sings. Okay, it appears and functions as a verb. Now in the gerund here, you can see my friend enjoys singing. What does my friend enjoy? Okay, so in here, you can see that we have the primary verb here. We have the verb here, and that is enjoys. So in here, singing is not the one that is uh, uh, functioning as a verb. Rather, it's the word enjoys. So in here, it only answers what is being enjoyed by the friend, and that is singing. So in here, it does not function as a verb, but functions as a noun. Okay, so... Um, let's have to explain it further. Jamie is reading here again. It functions as a verb or action. What does Jamie do? She reads novels, right? So simple as that. In the other, on the other hand, here, Jamie enjoys. The verb here is the word enjoy. So it cannot be, um, Reading as the verb or the action, but what does Jamie enjoy? And that is reading. So in here, it names what she enjoy, okay? What she enjoys, and that is reading. So on that note, it answers, the, the, uh, it names. So that means it's not a verb, but it's a noun. So as simple as that. So there are only two things that we have to remember with gerund. First, it's a word or verbal that is in the form of a verb but functions as a noun. And at the same time, it's in the ing form of the verb. So we have reading, singing, acting, flying, um, walking, running, and so on. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I also have a lot of in the 
channel so you can check it out learning english through youtube shorts and other contents but if you like shorter we have it here so don't forget to subscribe if you like the contents and check on to be updated for the next videos and don't forget to like and share this is explore explore inside saying once again i remind reminding everyone to always choose to be happy thank you so much